Hey what is going on guys, EK here and today welcome back to some more Forza Horizon 2 and for another car from the November DLC pack. I can't say that, I really really can't say that. Uh, November, but there we go. It is the brand new 2014 BMW M4. Now, I was going to do a review on this thing, but I actually drove it last night and I was thinking something isn't quite right with this thing. Just in my personal opinion, I don't think it had as much power as it should have. It had the same problem as the Alfa Romeo 4C. So I thought I may as well do a custom car build of it because I know a lot of people want to see an M4 getting customised. So let's get straight in to the build of this thing. Right, so I'm interested to see what we actually have for this car, considering it is now a straight six, I believe. I think it's either a V6 or a straight six, so if you guys want to correct me in the comments, you can do so. So, uh, what have we got here? 5.2 litre V10. Holy moly! Or a 4.5 litre V8. I think we'll stick with the straight six right now, because um, there's been mixed opinions. I've actually been hearing people on um, online lobbies saying that they've got mixed opinions about the noise of this thing. I am the exact same. I'm not too sure what to make of it, but it's okay, but it's not exactly great at the same time. It's not as great as sounding as the previous M3, for example, the E92, which is the big fire-breathing V8, so I don't really know what to make of it yet. So anyway, Let's get into the actual customization of this thing. So, 255s in the front. I think we're going to keep that. That's not bad indeed. And the tyres are already thick enough, I think. But we're going to bump up to 285 because we're going to be putting more power in it. So, the big, subde big subject that you guys have been asking me to talk about in one of the videos is GTA 5 and Next Gen. Now, uh, I am aware that tons of videos were made last night. For example, from Nerdcubed, Bloomin in every other YouTuber basically, um, basically expressing their excitement for the new first person mode. Now, I kind of knew about this already, how there was going to be a first person mode, but that's, this was the first time I actually got to see it happening, like live, if you know what I mean. And my god, it looks good. It really, really does look good. My favourite part has to be the bit on the bike where Trevor jumps over the train. I think it's Trevor or Franklin, I'm not too sure, but... My god, it looks amazing. It really, really does. So I'm going to be talking to you in this video at length about what I've got planned um, for GTA Next Gen. So right now, we're just trying to pick out a rim for this thing because um, I was actually just watching Shmi's new video on the M4 and it was the Vorenstein, Vorenstein GTR S4 edition. Now, that is a tuning package you can get from Vorenstein themselves. Uh, for the M4, and my god, it looks good. I mean, there's like a there's a four inch wider wheel arch at the front and a seven inch wider wheel arch at the back. It's got the new back bumpers and it's got 550 brake horsepower. It's amazing. It really, really is. So okay, that actually surprisingly suits it. I don't know what you think about that, guys, but I quite like that because black black rims have to go with this thing. I mean, it just suits it so damn well. And for the colour, I know you might be thinking, EK, is that not like a mustard colour? I agree with you, it's not the best colour in the world, but I'm feeling the red for this thing. I, you know me, I'm not really not normally one for red cars apart from Ferraris, but um, we're going to be going for red in this thing, because I was flicking down the colours to see what would actually fit this thing, and red, red is very, very good, so um, we'll see if I can in a minute, guys, when I actually eventually choose a freaking rim for this car. So guys, I think we're going to settle on with these wee rims here that I said earlier on. They just look the best in my opinion. Now, I know there's going to be some people saying, oh, okay, they don't look good, they don't look good, but... Pfft, custom car build. That's what I want. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and anyway, we're going to bump it up to, I believe, 18 inches? No, tw geez, 20 inches. They don't look that big. They don't look that big, but I suppose when you like slam the suspension and stuff, it's going to look pretty damn big. So anyway, we're going to fit it normally with... We're going to fit it normally, we're going to fit it with race clutch and all the different shenanigans that we've got here. But getting back to the GTA 5 subject, I will be getting it on Xbox One on day one, guys. So expect day one coverage from GTA 5. So 
GTA 5 custom cars is coming back. Now, there's going to be a hell of a lot more cars in this one. DLC cars from like, the 360 and PSV version are going to be actual traffic cars now. So, that is really, really good news, how they spawn in all the time. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to, and I'm sure everyone else says, the Dukes. The Ponte Dukes, I'm really, really looking forward to that, because that is basically... It's kind of like a Pontiac GTO mixed with a 69 Dodge Charger. It kind of is like that, so... And plus, that was one of my favourite drifting cars in GTA 4. It's absolutely amazing, that thing. Uh, so, expect to see a custom car build on that. And I do believe there's, like, an off roady version, plus the Stallions coming back, and there's going to be a customised Blister, which is basically a little Honda Civic slash CRX. So, I would love to see the Blister from GTA... Four come back because the blister in GTA 5 is okay, right? It is kind of like a Civic, but I love the CRX version a wee bit more. So, Rockstar, if you're listening, please bring back the old thingy. I can't, I, I can't remember the name. It just went out of my head. The the blister. That's it. But anyway, um, surprisingly, this thing isn't that powerful. It isn't that powerful yet. Now it is 631 horsepower. Twin turbos. Now this thing has got a turbo, a, a turbo, turbo, a twat, a twat, but yeah, um, 718 horsepower. Jesus Christ, man! I don't know if to put that much power into this. Yeah, fuck it, fuck it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Maximum power on the M4. So yeah, I know I could have fitted this thing with like a bigger engine, but I don't think it would suit it. I don't think it would suit it. Now. In terms of like 5.2 litre V10s, I would shove that into the back of an Audi any day, so that actually looks pretty damn badass. It really does. So, right now we're going to go ahead and choose some painting options for this because, as I said, I flicked down and I seen there was a very, very nice red indeed. So, special colours. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if it's going to come out as well on the actual Elgato, but that is absolutely sexy as hell. I mean, I don't have to alter that in any way, that is just the stock semi-gloss colour, and I am having it. I am absolutely having that. Uh, so, let's see, we're going to tint this window, because why not? But, I don't really, uh, tell me in the comments, guys, do you tint the windows, like, fully? I'm not a big fan of that, unless it's, like, certain cars, like, the Escalade or, like, gangster cars, but with M4 and any other car, I normally try run about this one here, so you can still see the interior and in some of the cars, so... Or some of the interior, I mean, so... Hmm... This is going to be tricky now. It's not going to get black rims and stuff, that actually looks pretty damn badass now, so... The wing! I don't know why that's there, because you can't paint it. Technically, it doesn't have a wing, it has a lip spoiler. That is it, so... Uh, how would it look with like a carbon hood? Hmm, I doubt it would look that nice. Yeah, it looks okay, but I wouldn't rock that. Personally, I wouldn't rock that, so... Uh, we'll actually check the designs, guys. We'll check the designs and see if anyone's made any nice ones because with this, I think I'm, I'm actually certain that someone will put a, a safety car one on because they've got it in GT6 now. There's been a few people moaning on Petrolhead Paradise, my Facebook group, about how the M4 was meant to be a, a Gran Turismo exclusive and how Gran Turismo basically backstabbed them. I mean, everyone wants the M4, so you can't just have it to yourself. Or you can't be, let's just say, EA. <laughs> you don't want to be like that, so... Let's see, find new designs. And, oh my god, that looks quite nice. Damn, that's like a CSL looking thing. Damn, that's nice. Good years. Yeah, so... If any of you guys have got a design for me, then let me know in the comments, because it could be on any car. Oh my god! A Sunset Overdrive M4, that is pretty damn, I was going to say dope, but I don't want to say like slam, uh, like slap train. That is pretty damn badass, man. Ha oh, ha. Yeah, we're going to rock the look that we're having there now. We're going to go for the red. That is really damn nice. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pick a certain area of the map. Tell you what, we're already here. <laughs> I was going to go to Nice and test this thing out. So, oh man, I'm so glad I picked the red. This looks so good, but what we are doing right now is we're going to slam this thing like an absolute bitch. That's what we're going to be doing, so... Anti-roll bars, don't really want that. Very tight, all the way down. Might fiddle with the cam bar a tiny bit, guys. I'll put it back if it doesn't look that good, but... I normally put like 1.5 to 1.8 cam bar, so... 
And this one will put 1.5. Let's see what it looks like. Because I've never seen an M4 camber before. That actually looks perfect. <laughs> that actually looks goddamn perfect. I mean, it's yet again another one of them cars that doesn't go over the tyres in terms of like lowering it. So, let's see how this puppy handles. Oh yes! Loving it already, because as I said at the start of the video, the stock version actually felt like it had tons of grip, like too much grip and not enough power. It's basically the exact same in terms of grip, but it has a lot more power this time, so you can get the arse out. God damn, man! I'm so glad I actually fitted the twin turbos, because that's the thing, right? See back in Forza Horizon 1, see if you like fully matched a car with like, twin turbos and shit like that, you would feel very out of control. You really, really would if you started to drift it or even drive it in that matter, but in Horizon 2, you feel completely in control all the time, you really, really do. Now, I'm not saying that's a complaint, but it's quite good at the same time, because who doesn't want to drift an 800 horsepower M4 whilst under control? Seriously, it's unbelievably good, so we'll check this thing out in the cockpit view. This is a very, very nice interior indeed, big chunky steering wheel flappy paddle gearbox and everything like that. Very, very nice car indeed now. I would like to see like the Vorin, uh, the Vorinstein style, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right guys, apologies if I'm not. Uh, I would like to see that style of customization come into future Forza games or any game in that matter. Like you can widen up the wheel arches, you can um, basically fit new, well I know you can fit new back bumpers and everything like that, but basically what I'm trying to say is do like an auto sculpt sort of thing, you know how they used to have that in like Need for Speed Carbon and stuff, so if they bring that into like Forza and stuff, like you can mess around with actual stock bumpers and like custom bumpers, that would be great, that would be really really cool, be a nice addition and stuff, because my idea is like, um, you know, I'm not a tablet guy, I don't have an iPad or anything like that, but it would be cool if they had this sort of feature on the actual um, consoles where you can like, for example, I'm going to stop a second and try and explain this right. See the back arch there, where the, like, the fuel tank is? See if there's like a little magnet and you can pull it and pull it and pull it and then make it wider? That would be really, really cool. If you guys get me, if you know what I'm talking about, that would be really, really cool. So, obviously you don't want to go overboard in terms of like wheel arches because it would get way, way, way too big and you won't be able to see the tyres, but my god. My god, it would be a cool damn feature. It really, really would. So, uh, anyway, getting back to GTA 5 Next Gen, um, I'm going to be doing car meets, guys. Now, the one thing me and Black Panther, because I was watching this video on it, I'm really excited about, is car meets in GTA Next Gen, because if you turn all the HUD off and everything like that, and just have it, like, no HUD on or anything, just imagine that. That would be, like... It'd be like Drive Club in GTA, I mean, we can go into the car and stuff like that. That's essentially what it is. Now, obviously, Drive Club's completely different to GTA, but you know how you can just step into the car and everything, and you can see them opening the door and stuff like that? I mean, oh, it's going to be awesome. It really, really is. So, I'm going to set, well, not a date, obviously, because it's not out, but I'm going to be doing a few videos on GTA online and stuff like that for you guys. I'm going to be transferring my character over so we can see the Kuhn. We can see the Kuhn once again in next gen HD graphics. Oh yes we can, so... It's going to be hella fun. It really is going to be hella fun, because... Just imagine... I just thought this there. Imagine going down Mount Chiliad on a bike, or in a car, full speed, in first person. It's going to be bonkers. It really, really is, so... I mean... I think Nerd Coop was saying this, it's like the holy grail of modding and they've actually given it to us. Now, <laughs> it's just amazing, it really really is amazing, so I cannot wait to pick it up on November 18th, guys, so if you want to see like very top notch GTA next gen videos, then make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, it's, it's going to be mega guys, because I'm going to be covering that game like crazy, because it's basically a whole new thing, if you know what I mean, it's like... GTA last gen or GTA like on the Xbox 360 and PS3, it's absolutely amazing guys, one of the best games ever, right? 
But this is going to take it to a full new bloody level, and I have spun. What the hell caused that? I have no idea. I must have just hit the back tire on the back curb, but damn, looks really, really good indeed. So, yeah, it's going to be absolutely mega, because it's not just cars that you get first person view. You get it when you're walking about, you get it in planes, you get it in boats and everything. So, you get it while you go underwater. That is hysterically funny and brilliant at the same time, because you're going to see like a freaking hammerhead shark coming right in your face. It kind of reminds me of like Far Cry 3, it's like the Far Cry style, if you know what I mean, so... <laughs> imagine that GTA 5 Far Cry style, that's going to be bonkers. So anyway, getting back to the M4, I've actually chosen to go to Castelletto, because this road for drifting is beastly. It really, really is, and this car is as well, because that corner back there, you need to get it right every time, because if you're in too lower gear, you're going to spin out. If you're in too higher gear, you're just going to freaking... <laughs> you're going to rev it off the limits, basically. That's what you're going to do. But this M4 can actually hold gears pretty damn well. A little bit of clutch kick there. Oh, yes! Now, this probably might be one of my new favourite drift car, guys. I might do some more altifications to it, like, in terms of stickers and stuff, because... Oh, shit! No! Oh! <laughs> I hate that bloody curb. Seriously, it's just the curbs in this game that blooming uh, get you. It makes me sound Irish when I say that. The, the curbs, the curbs, they did stop the morning to you. Fucking Jack Septic eye here, holy crap. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's the person that actually just started recently watching this Jack Septic eye because Andy was the one that got me into them, so uh, he was the same with Spears, he got me into Spears, so. Um, but yeah, tell me in the comments, guys, do you watch uh, Jack Septic eye and Spears? I think they're two hilarious people. They really, really are. So, um, yeah, big thanks to all the people that watched the Alpha Mill 4C review. You guys all loved that. Um, it's a cracking little car, that, and I still need to do a custom build on that. So expect that to be out probably on Friday, because, as you all know, the crew beta starts tomorrow. Oh, yes, it does. Now, I mentioned this briefly in yesterday's Alpha Mill 4C review, as I was just talking about. I'm going to be giving away a beta key, so we don't actually get the beta keys until Thursday morning. So I'm going to be announcing the winner of who it is in my first crew video. So yeah, make sure if you haven't already, leave hashtag crew beta on this video. So you've got a chance for winning the Xbox One version of the crew beta, yeah. And I am in the mood for a race, don't know why, but... Uh, I like to drift this thing, don't get me wrong, but that is a sick-ass Lambo. And I had to pick another one with the CR. It's just my luck. It's just my luck these past couple of days, because I've done it in the Alpha, and I've done it in this. Oh, yes! Now, we can basically drift and win this now. Problem is, we don't have the map on yet again, so... I've done this in the last one as well, so... Let's see, where are we? Map on. That's it now. There we go now. Another thing I wanted to say is, guys, people were saying in the comments, EK, do you know the song in the Fast and Furious 7 trailer? Yeah, I do, actually. I've actually got it downloaded on my iPod. It's called Get Low by DJ Snake. Now, if you're wondering who the hell that is, that is the same guy that done Turn Down for What with Little John. <laughs> Turn Down for What? <laughs> As I told you in previous videos, I can't do that because it hurts my throat. <laughs> Turn Down for What? But, um... Yeah, go and download that, guys, because it's actually in the UK charts now, thanks to the Fast and Furious 7 trailer, so let's get it to number one, because I can probably see it being played at tons of car meets around the globe now, because it is that sort of song. It's not too drum and bass-like. It's that sort of pulling up to a car lot and just that proper swag song, if you know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of like the... The Tokyo Drift song, if you know what I mean, it has that sort of vibe to it, that dun 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 that one, so... Anyway, we just destroyed that Lambo, absolutely destroyed him, so... Anyway, how much are we gonna get? Please be 50, please be 50. 52 grand, I am happy with that! Let's level up, please level up! Oh, come on, 206, we need to get there, because... I've been playing this game a lot, right, but... It's getting a hell of a lot harder to actually level up now, guys. It really, really is, considering the level that I'm at, 206. It's a Peugeot! It's a Peugeot! So, uh, as I was saying about the Fast and Furious 7 trailer, uh, if you want a, not trailer, song, I mean, if you want to actually listen to it in full, I'll leave a link down below. For the video, what are you doing? 
That's the Lambo getting revenge. He's a jealous bastard, that's what he is. So, tell you what we're going to do, guys. For the final bit of this video, we're going to take it to a favourite drifting area of the map, which is just up here. So, I want to spend a little more time with the M4 because in stop mode, as I said, it didn't really... It didn't really set my soul alive, if you know what I mean. It didn't really set my soul on fire, but... With a custom version, whoa, sweet jeebus, it's good. It's really, really good, so... If you haven't picked up the M4 yet, guys, from the new November DLC pack, I would recommend you do so because it, it's free. It is free for like the first car you get. Like, because I'm planning to do several versions of this car. I'm planning to do a cruise version, a drift version, which this is, and just a stop one now. I'm not really going to be driving the stop one a lot because it's, in my opinion, it's quite crappy. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of people that disagree with that, but still. It's just not my sort of car when it's stopped, but it certainly is my sort of car when it is customising S13, move your ass. I'm sorry that I spashed you. <laughs> a lot of JDM fans are going to be pissed the hell off there. <laughs> sorry, don't kill me in the comments. Don't kill me in the comments, but... Anyway, we're going to do some cockpit view drifting in the final bit. Ooh, the jig. The jig. Ooh, yes. Now, that's strangely a car I've not been driving a lot. It's the XKRS case. The noise, what did they do to it? Seriously, in Forza Motorsport 5, it was like a growling, well, Jaguar basically. But um, in this game, it just sounds so damn muted. Now, I think the reason why they've done that is to basically amplify the F type sound because the F type essentially has the same engine as that, but it sounds completely different, apparently. It sounds completely different in my opinion, so. Anyway guys, I think we're going to round it off here for today's custom car video. I expect to see another one coming later today of the Chevy SS or the Toyota 2000 GT. Now, uh, I'll actually let you guys decide. So the first few comments, um, tell me in the comments below what sort of, or what car do you want to see as the next custom car build. Camper van! Oh yes, now, um, yeah, without me rambling on anymore guys. Um, remember to leave hashtag crew beta down below if you want a chance of winning the code or the key for the Xbox One beta and hopefully we might see you out on the roads of America tomorrow. Oh yes, so <laughs> if you enjoyed this video guys then please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more daily Forza videos and yeah, see you next time guys from me and the M4, peace.